Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qurabiya Palace a number of members from the royal family and the legislative authority, as well as intellectual and economic elite. His Royal Highness was briefed on a number of topics on local affairs and the various issues raised by citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the kingdom's outstanding human competency that qualified it to attain advanced levels in all fields, affirming that the government has prioritized the development of human capabilities in various work and production domains, which placed Bahrain at a remarkable global status in human development indicators. His Royal Highness stressed that the government continues its initiatives to develop the infrastructure and improve health, education and housing services in all the kingdoms, villages and cities, affirming that it exerts all efforts to increase growth levels in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the representatives and Shura councils for their interest in bolstering cooperation with the executive authority for the interest of the country and its citizens, noting that the government shares this interest to increase and strengthen cooperation between the two authorities to achieve the mutual goals of developing the National Action March in various domains. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keenness on achieving citizens' aspirations for more modern and developed services through plans and programs that take into account the increasing developmental needs and that respond with the urban expansion in the kingdom. His Royal Highness urged to preserve the national heritage of traditional industries and crafts that compose an integral part of the national memory and to prepare programs that entice new generations to preserve and develop them. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Today received the ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Subah at Rufa'a Palace, to mark the end of the ambassador's service in the kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long-standing historic ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, which continue to thrive under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Subah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended thanks to the Kuwaiti ambassador for his. Service service in further enhancing bilateral relations between the two countries and wished him success in his future endeavors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Kuwaiti Ambassador further discussed regional and international affairs of common interest. For his part, the Kuwaiti Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and for the support he had received during his tenure in the Kingdom. He wished the Kingdom and its citizens further prosperity and advancement. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired today the second meeting of the committee to follow up on the implementation of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Education, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, the Minister of Information, the Minister of Health and the Minister of Youth and Sports. The Minister of Interior welcomed the members, stressing that the national plan comes as part of the comprehensive vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to reinforce the spirit of belonging to the nation. He highlighted the importance of joint efforts to achieve the goals, missions and responsibilities of the committee to serve the nation and its citizens. The committee was briefed on the latest developments in the implementation of the plan and the results of the executive office meetings with authorities on implementing the initiatives. Some new initiatives were introduced and others were integrated bringing the total to 89 initiatives, of which 60 have been applied. A media plan was designed in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs and the National Communication Center to highlight the plan and interact with private organizations with the community partnership concept. 
The Executive Office, in cooperation with the Directorate of Information Technology of the General Directorate of the Interior Ministries Court, has trained representatives from 18 ministries and organizations on the use of the e-system in the implementation of the initiatives. The committee was also briefed on the enormous response to the implementation of the plan, in which the Interior Minister said the national plan goes through continuous work, revision, development and evaluation with a clear vision to tackle challenges and protect the national identity and the strength of the internal front. He asserted that the kingdom will continue to be strong with the unity of its people and the cohesion of its society under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the reform program of His Majesty the King is considered the most significant national project and does not differentiate between citizens. It's regarded as a national achievement and a role model through time to take Bahrain a bright and secure future and protect the dignity of all segments of society. The Interior Minister explained that the conspiracies of Qatar and Iran and their attempts to disunite the nation and promote sedition and chaos meet with big failure as a result of the national unity of the people of Bahrain and their loyalty to His Majesty the King that empowers them to overcome challenges. He added that the Qatari and Iranian interferences in the internal affairs of Bahrain aren't new but an ongoing approach that comes in different forms. He said that if Iran targeted the Shia sector, then Qatar targeted both sectors, highlighting Iran's dependence on sectarian incitement in its interferences, while Qatar targets the social fabric to harm the genuine bonds of Bahrain family. He stressed that the national identity is strong for being based on the nationalism of citizens, which makes Bahrain capable of defeating all sedition attempts. At the end of the meeting, the Interior Minister launched the website of the national plan, www.bahrainouna.com, expressing thanks and appreciation to the members for their support and cooperation. He also thanked officials and private organizations for their collaboration, along with media figures, writers, columnists, individuals and organizations for their contributions in this distinguished national work. He wished the best to all in achieving the targeted goals and in serving the nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met at the Ministry's General Court today. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamaid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Minister and Sheikh Hamaid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa signed a Memorandum of Understanding on enhancing cooperation in the diplomatic and cultural fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed that the signing of this MOU embodies the close cooperation between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Bahrain Authority. Authority for Culture and Antiquities and reflects the keenness to develop these cooperation to support their efforts and endeavors to enhance the kingdom's status regionally and internationally at all levels. He affirmed that this MOU will help in strengthening joint coordination in several international forums. Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed also commended the efforts exerted by Sheikh Amay in Baka in preserving and highlighting Bahrain's heritage and culture, which further enhances the kingdom's status among the leading countries of the region in this field. He also wished Sheikh Amay and Baka further remarkable success. For her part, Sheikh Amay expressed her pleasure to have signed this MOU with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which is based on the continued approach of communication between both sides. She also underlines that this step would bolster joint cooperation and coordination between the two sides at all levels, namely in the fields of diplomacy and culture.